Well, if you were part of my live stream, you know that I got all my frustration out. The Detroit Lions fall in abysmal fashion, 38-6 to to the Baltimore Ravens in a game that we knew was going to be tough, but we had one job to do, which was stop Lamar Jackson. We couldn't stop him. I made a video that said, make Lamar pass and win. And what do you know? He goes 357 yards, no interceptions, no sacks, three touchdowns. He missed six passes all night. It got so bad, they put Tyler Huntley, the backup quarterback, in. The Detroit Lions didn't show up at all today. Didn't get off the plane, never left. Now, am I sad about this loss? Yeah, I'm sad because we shouldn't have lost. We were playing great football. The worst part about this is the fact that we have to hear, are we really legit? We've gone, so now we're 13, we've gone 13 and three. Now we're 13 and four over our last 17 games. And today, And when we lose, I mean, we lose. We lose real big. We lost by 32 points. The Detroit Lions did not score until the fourth quarter when they scored a touchdown, went for a two-point conversion, and they failed. So it's it's. I got all my frustration out. I'm not going to tell y'all anything you you don't know. The Detroit Lions defense. It's just amazing to me, and I'm feeling some type of way. I, I talk about this team every single day. Y'all act like I don't know what I'm talking about, and I'm sitting here and I'm telling y'all what we need, right? I'm not saying that I'm perfect or I know everything. I'm telling you what we need. We have had, we got no sacks on Lamar Jackson today. We've had one sack each of our last two games. Previous to those last two, we had five and then seven. And you look at the opponents that we've played, the quarterbacks that we got those sacks on. Jordan Love, we got five against, essentially a rookie quarterback. We got the seven against Desmond Ritter, who holds the ball entirely too long. But when it comes to Lamar overpay Wilson, we have zero sacks. None at all. Offense couldn't get going. I'm not mad per se. A loss was coming. We weren't going to run the table. If there was any team that was going to beat us, it was going to be this team. But now you have the questions. Do we beat the Las Vegas Raiders? If we go, okay, so what? We go 6-2 and into the bye week. Are we legit? We come out of the bye week, play the Chargers. 6-3, and 7-2. and two. We'll see. When we, when we face a quote-unquote legit team, then we, how do we perform, right? So if we run a table or we, we, we go pretty good, we're 5-2. We're and two. So let's say we go 13-4, and four, worst case scenario. We get to the playoffs, we host up, we win a division, we host a home playoff game. Now what? Now what? The thing that I've been, like I said, what bothers me the most is, A, we lost. The two losses this year have been at Uno's Pizzeria when I host a watch party. The second thing is, you act like I don't know what I'm talking about when I told you we need a running back. You said, well, we have David Montgomery. Well, David Montgomery's not in there right now, and the trade deadline is in less than 10 days, and we need a running game. You don't believe me? Let me show you, all right? Jared Goff had to throw the ball 53 times. He went 33 for 53, one interceptions, zero touchdowns. He took five sacks, five sacks. Lamar Jackson, we already went over his stats. Jameer Gibbs did what he could, scored his first touchdown of his NFL career, 11 carries, 68 yards. Craig Reynolds, three carries, 16. Now you're going to be like, well, we'll be fine. Oh, Monty will be back. Okay, fine. Monty comes back. When is that? Against the Chargers? Okay, cool. Fine. What about the sacks? What about getting to Lamar? Again, three games, two sacks. Three games, two sacks. But oh, Chase Young is washed. Really? Let me show you. Let me show you something today. The Washington Commanders lost. They're now three and four. Chase Young, two. Two sacks. He got... More sacks this game than he got equal the amount of sacks this game as our team did in their last two games. I've tried to tell you and will continue to tell you that Hutchinson needs some help. He needs some help. And until we get it, this is how we're going to be. Unless we play. Here it is that we sack Bryce Young one time. A rookie quarterback one time. But see, y'all got okie doked because y'all let... Y'all let the sacks fool you, right? Then I was told I owe Aaron Glenn an apology. I I don't owe Aaron Glenn nothing. I said consistent. 
Okay, fine. So he, he had three games and then the abysmal performance. But then you look at the people that, again, this is all going to come down to the teams that we've played, right? We played the Carolina Panthers. We played the Green Bay Packers, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're a decent team. But when it comes to now questioning the Detroit Lions, now I don't, but people do. And now, so here's, here's where I'm at. Brad Holmes needs to make something happen. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you put in the comment section. Brad Holmes needs to make something happen. Point blank, period, facts. Period. We need to make something happen. Defensive line, whether it's edge or interior, it doesn't matter. If you have Will Harrison at quarterback, you need to have a stout defensive line. Now, I saw... Jonathan Allen of the Washington Commanders went on a bit of a tirade because he's tired of losing. Well, you know what, brother? Come over here. Brad Holmes, make a move. I'm not, I'm not saying SOL. I'm not saying the season is over. I'm simply saying that if you don't believe me, then believe me. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Because I told you. Mm-hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly, exactly what, what just happened. happened. Again, zero pass rush. I said it game one. I said it game two. I was yelling it in Kansas City. I was yelling. I've been yelling it for four years. We have one pass rusher on our team. Now, what makes me happy is that Charles Harris was benched today out of nowhere 90 minutes before a kickoff. Maybe, maybe there's a package deal coming. At this point, you know what, Brad? I'm, this is not a knee-jerk reaction. This is, it's time to make a difference. Right? Time to make a difference. Zero, our, Jameer Gibbs, he did pretty solid. He did pretty well when it comes to Rushing the football. He did what he get. We had 84 rushing yards. They had 160, 146. So you know that whole streak of keeping people under a rushing teams under 100 yards. Lamar Jackson was the lowest rusher on their team. 36 yards. Justice Hill, 46. And Gus Edwards, 64. I don't even mind if they beat us on the ground. But you can't, you can't let Lamar throw. <laughs> it got so bad. You can't let Lamar go miss six passes, throw zero touchdowns, get sacked, nothing, and 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 throw for three hundred and fifty-seven yards and have Jared Goff throw the ball fifty-three times. You know how many times we ran the ball? We were down, so we had to play catch up. We ran the ball fourteen times. Jared Goff threw the ball over three times that amount. Almost four times that amount. Now we host the Las Vegas Raiders at the at home. We have a chance to go six and two. Okay, fine. We go into the bye week. I'm all cool with that. That's fine. Bye week, still the division lead. We didn't lose any ground today as far as the division. Uh perhaps the NFC number one seed now is, is pushed further back, depending on what happened tonight against the with the Philadelphia Eagles and tomorrow with the San Francisco 49ers. So we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to drop into power, power rankings. T today was a nightmare. On top of that, we got to wait an extra day, okay, before we see again. We play Monday night. And we beat the Raiders, okay, 6-2. and two. Then we come back against the Chargers. And that's so that now it's can these guys beat real teams? And we did that last year. But the hype. So I think this, was a, I, I think this loss was needed. I think it was needed because I said to I've been saying all week long, if we lose to the Baltimore Ravens, this is going to be this game is going to let Brad Holmes know what we need and what he needs to do. So I've been saying it. I'm gonna keep saying it, whether you watch it or not, whether you like it or not, whether it's clickbait or not, whether I don't care what you feel. I've been telling you this, and I'm gonna tell you some more. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Because I told you. Mm -hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly, exactly what, what just happened. happened. Derrick Henry, bring him in. Chase Young, bring him in. 
Brian Burns, bring him in. Whatever we have to do to make this team better. Because when it comes down to playing legitimate teams, when it counts, will we show up or will we not score into the fourth quarter? We came ill-prepared today, and it showed. Today was a rude awakening for everybody that thinks this team can win a Super Bowl with its current roster. Yeah, I put out a poll. How many do you think, can we win the, a Super Bowl with our current roster? And the majority of the vote was yes. You still believe that right now? Or did we just have a bad game? Not in the mood today. Really not. Doesn't change the season. Not SOL. Really, really, really terrible loss. We got to wait an extra day before we play. We are the last team in week eight to play. And for the next eight days, I got to deal with Ravens fans after what happened with Justin Tucker two years ago. It's ironic. When we lost that game, Jared Goff said the gut punches will stop. And they have. But today was a firm reminder that you can get punched in the gut every now and then. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.